Councillor Schultz he visited the region recently and included Belgrade. And in Belgrade, he gave a message uh, to, to the Serbian president that uh, country, two countries with that uh, dispute that they have, uh, that is not recognizing the other country cannot enter the European Union. And that was the message, that, that was how it was interpreted. And now I'm going to, I have two questions here. So first is your comment on, on, on uh, Schultz's uh, statement. And uh, the other one is, uh, you were also foreign minister of Republic of Slovakia. And uh, Slovakia is one of the five countries in the European Union that still uh, doesn't recognize, uh, recognize Kosovo. Why is that still? Uh, and uh, and, and to, to, to actually to connect the question, the, the, uh, the comment with uh, Schultz's visit and, and statement there in Belgrade. Yeah, first, I mean, just uh, to remind you of the facts that when uh, Slovakia's uh, official position was uh, adopted, I was the high representative uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So uh, uh, I was not part of the Slovakia's uh, foreign service or, or politics. Uh, second, uh, uh, as a foreign minister, I, I made sure that. Uh, uh, Slovakia is seen as a friend. There are a number of uh, projects and programs uh, uh, between Slovakia and Kosovo. Uh, Slovakia has, of course, its uh, diplomatic mission in Pristina, uh, recognizes documents, uh, passports, issues visa, uh, provides uh, official development assistance. Uh, I, I had received a number of politicians or NGOs from Kosovo in, in my capacity as foreign minister. We were promoting people-to-people uh, -people contacts. So showing that uh, the, 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 the formal position doesn't have to be an excuse or an obstacle to promote cooperation. What I can also tell you uh, is that, uh, uh, of course, I'm representing EU27 and I'm in regular contact with all member states and uh, they are f uh, following or watching this process of normalization or the, or the dialogue very closely and they are willing to contribute. They, are willing to, uh, they want this process to succeed and they are willing to contribute also from their side, uh, including the, the five uh, countries that have not formally recognized Kosovo. And they need to see the process that is working and, uh, and that is progressing. I will stop here because I should not go any further in this, but I, I think the message is clear. When it comes to uh, Chancellor Scholz's visit, I, I, I have to say that Germany is a very strong supporter of uh, of, of the Western Balkans membership in the European Union and that was a very clear message also that uh, Chancellor Scholz uh, delivered both in Belgrade and Pristina. Uh, they are also uh, very strong supporters of my mission and my work uh, and, uh, and this is very important for me. You would uh, recall that uh, we also had uh, I, uh, meetings in Brussels, uh, sorry in Berlin where, where I met with Chancellor Scholz and then he met with Prime Minister Kurti and President Vucic and then we had the dinner, the three of us together, in, informal but important. Uh, so I, I, I see the Chancellor Scholz's uh, visit as a, as a clear message of commitment towards the European future for the Western Balkans.